damn, son. I, I feel it. I, I've been anxious lately, dog. I feel it. I feel the energy. I've been real anxious lately, dog. It's it's almost time. Uh-huh. Uh, we are uh, less than a week away or just about a week away. Just about. Uh, I'm hanging up to Jersey. Days, yo. I'm, I'm, I'm going into the hall. I'm, uh, you know what I mean? I'm giving up my speeches, talking about my past, my teammates. Shout out to my teammates, my coaches, the GM for, for, for these moments, yo. You know what I mean? Che- cheers to you. Cheers to Clouds. Let's get some Clouds go. Let's start this off cheers right to today. the jersey and the rafters. Hey, man. Wait, what? You know what I mean? I, <laughs> <laughs> like that, kid. You threw it up. Yo, man. Cheers. For those of you who don't know, I'm getting married very, very soon, very, very shortly. Um, yeah, shit's been wild. Shit's been wild. Um, it's been a crazy experience. Um, so I want to throw out a question to you, Room. I, just, just to shake up your whole, your whole vibe today. What does marriage mean to you? Oh, we starting like we starting with war. <laughs> we starting I, with. I want to drop the first bomb. What does marriage? marriage? And the reason I'm asking you this question because the question got asked to me from the person who'll be presiding over our wedding, and I have now been asking all my close friends the same question. So, Damn. if I were to ask you, what does marriage mean to you? Go. Shit, yo, you know what? Like the. I don't, it's so, oh, wow. I didn't know we was <laughs> signing the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> yo, yo, because it's it, it it means a lot. It's so vast, though, like how, how it's commercialized is way different from the actual union. You know, because because it's a commitment. It's a commitment, and not everybody has the, the want to, the willpower to commit. Like, marriage is supposed to be the strongest union, but then it's so vast, bro. It's so you could you can be married and in this society, at least this culture, have like an open marriage, right? Right. Some niggas be like, no, I'm asking my husband. That's like, well, yeah, on Thursdays, I see my <laughs> husband, that's my wife, whatever. Right. So it's to me, yo, honestly, marriage is a contractual agreement. So if you ask what it means, a union is different. They're married. So if you ask me what marriage is, yeah. To me, and me and my me and my lady, we've talked about this. So okay. America don't live niggas be like, yo, your nigga crazy. <laughs> nah, we talk like, you know what I mean? We did, but but I do believe like once you sign that piece of paper, I think I think it should be like, yo. Every four years, you got to renew the agreement. Like a car, you got to look at it. Like, all right, well, <laughs> you want to extend this contract? Yeah, Come see. Like, 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 a, what, is, what is it? Like a lease? Like, when yeah, you get the whip? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are, are you leasing it or finding it? You leasing it? Like, even when you in your crib, when you, you, know, you rent? You yeah, know I mean? you got, yeah. After, oh, shit, the lease. So, like, we got to put your gla- <laughs> shit. Where well, the shutters, the shutters was fucked up. Like, just like that. You, because, like, sometimes. I'm hearing, I'm pretty sure you heard these stories when you asked the Vice King that once once the ring, like once you walk down the aisle, that 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 your partner changes. Men used to think it was the bride. I'm hearing a lot more stories that nigga, niggas is getting brand new. Right. I, I mean, I think it's a different What time. about that? How do you feel? So to give you my very condensed answer, um, my answer was marriage is the ultimate sacrifice in your life. Really? I could see that. And and the sacrifice is your ego. It is the one time where you have to openly acknowledge that your ego can no longer exist Does it? In, in this relationship. Go on. And I think that, to me, is the scariest part. Because in what element, though? Or, or is it a, a maturation of, of, of egotism now? Like, you changing that well, shit completely? Well, you know, ego can be coined or referred to in many different ways and can also be associated with many different things. I think ego, though, is for a lot of us, and especially men, it's almost who we are. It's our confidence. It's our ability to do things that we can't necessarily see the answer to at the moment. But, like, it's that unwavering faith in self that... I believe I'm correct and the way I handle situations is correct. And it's it's just an unwavering belief in self. 
can't you can't take anything personal because now it's a real it's a real commitment a real union as far as like you not just it's not tennis or but if it is it's doubles it's nothing about you no more nothing. the term you no longer exists there is no you us now you can be yourself in the relationship in the marriage but the the marriage is no longer you and her it's y'all now how are you within y'all is a question. Yeah, but yo. how are you now? Is associated with a person. This, this, yeah, this is real. This right? Is... It's not because now when when it's your time, when I say yo, how you doing? It's yo, how you in the fam? Nah, it's that. It's not. It's not. Yeah, it's not me. When and, I got to think about it, oh my little nigga, he all right. He pissing and, me off this week. Why is she good? You know what's going. You know what's actually going to be. It needs to be a marriage field day or marriage Olympics to see how strong <laughs> niggas really is. If you can't, if you can't pull your partner off off one of them walls, they the bay. Damn, bitch, I hate casserole. <laughs> and let it go. Y'all shouldn't be married no more, yo. Cause yo, I like that. Yo, it's not about the individual no more. Right. It's not about like yo, come like yo, I'm. How the fuck did we get eight hundred dollars worth of socks from Amazon this month? And it's we, and yeah, not I. And you why didn't did order. Like, no, like, why did we? Why do did that? we? Why? Why did we do that? What do you mean? We needed socks, and then, and, and, and then you can't just you can't just that just can't be the answer. One person cannot remove their ego. That's well, what sucks. So, and that's acting in bad marriages, and it seems to me like a, a pattern almost. That, yeah, somebody in the relationship kept on to that ego, never let it go. Never let it go. And when one person keeps and the other one lets go, now, now, now it's a control dynamic, right? Now it's a power dynamic. It might, and it might have been hidden very well. Oh, 100%. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, people are amazing at lying to themselves. Lying to other people should be, it's almost, that's crib almost Della, crib. You feel me? But so, this actually leads me, again, since we're talking about us and, and marriage and all that, how do you deal with debt when it comes to your partnership? Fi financial debt? Financial debt. Oh, no. See, that's when individuality <laughs> comes back in, in, in the play. That's when, when niggas start pulling out the... What? When, bae, I, my credit... And I thought I had to... <laughs> That's how I'm in the crib with my hands. Yeah. Did you say something? No. Ooh, uh, that you deal with that shit. That, yo, nah, yo, because but it can really affect, it can really affect, but it's, yo, that's the thing too. When another person is not realizing that your financial instability or lack of financial, not even, you don't even have to have gain. You don't have to be rich. Well, it depends on your relationship, but you're just, I guess, financial intelligence. Monetarily, you understand. We don't need $800 worth of Kermit the Frog socks this month. No, this is a bad month for that. This is a bad fucking month. The Relax. electric bill is extra $400 to that, this month. And it, just because, you know, so you got to, yo, because that, that in this, in this country will sink a relationship quicker than anything, oh, I think. Oh, I believe I've read in multiple places, and I don't have the exact fucking source but i i know i've read multiple times that finances are always top three in divorce situations i think over um it might even be one i wouldn't be surprised right? but i know it's top three over um infidelity now oh way over infidelity right way over infidelity. that's crazy i thought that was going to be one of the higher no and and so but it, i mean again <laughs> think about it right in my description of what marriage is and obviously everyone's description is going to be different it's you, the ultimate sacrifice of ego right and with that is real life shit and real life shit is finances and where is that point of hey we have to talk about my situation i know you're good but i'm not so here's you know what because i think that's a lot of time where situations get bad right where it's one person dealing with the stress of financial mm -hmm. pain and whatever and then they it's but they're in turn they're, they're dealing with it by themselves and with that comes stress, right? We, I mean, for uh, any of us who've been broke, as myself, yeah, 
being broke is extremely stressful. Stressful shit. Right? One thing my dad always told me, broke people can't have fun. If you broke, you I was gotta about sit to your just say home. that. If you a nigga that care about being broke, right? If you broke, you can't have a good time. Cause some niggas, we got some friends. Some niggas got negative whatever in their account. Some lint and gum, right? Niggas, and they're gonna be in the club. They gonna be, what's up, my brodies? <laughs> like, whoa, what the fuck? Right. So got your whole, you got your man shirt on, got your other man jeans, your other exactly. man belt, and, and yet you're the first one in the club. Right, so, so I guess if what, because what if your partner don't care, King? That's another thing. Or it's like you, you could because I'm one that I believe you got to be vocal. It has to be a time we have this conversation. Excuse me, but you also have to be. Oh, uh, you have to put your your words to actions. It has to. You have to show me that you're willing to not just understand what's going on. Like okay, this step one, step two, so we can. Grow together because if you if you're constantly just like oh my part oh, okay well they get it they get it but you're but you're never changing your end of it I feel as if like that's a recipe for disaster oh yeah it, because it has again it has to be a partnership right it has to be understanding how we're gonna save our expenses or save our money how we're gonna ex- spend our expenses like it has to be a because again one person. Not having debt and the other person have a shit ton of debt. Y'all both got a shit ton y'all of debt. Y'all both got a shit ton of debt now. Yeah, y'all, you know what I mean? So like, and, <laughs> and again, it's, I think where ego comes into, to a, into play and especially with men, right? Men going through bad times in life. I, I, how many, realistically, how many of our just friends that we know, how many of them do you think would really openly come out and say, yo, I can barely pay my bills this month? And let it, and hey, forget our, telling our a friend. friend group, yo, if we them niggas, I get them niggas send the applications to the Justice League. All them <laughs> niggas is sturdy, right? They be like, what? I got all the bread. Yo, yo, niggas, it's like, bro, I know, like, bro, I seen you looking funny when we was at, um, right, but fucking Olive Garden right, last week, right? Making so, sure the breadsticks were still free, right? Jeez, so, niggas. so forget, for, and now uh, forget <laughs> amongst your friends. Imagine, do you think our friends gonna tell his lady? I don't get why niggas don't do that then. Because niggas, niggas, yo, bro, they got to stop acting like you sleeping with the enemy. Because then you can make your partner the enemy if you acting like, like, if you're doing something for your partner and then you in bed at night and you roll over like, this bitch just needed the chocolate sundae. <laughs> like, you didn't, you could have told you her no. That like, shit, you know, really you, you, know, you know niggas be like, she wanted that chocolate sundae. No, she fucking don't even like ice cream. <laughs> Why you yo? You can't allow you can't allow your partner to be a detriment to the relationship and then be upset. I think that's right. another thing too. The, you hit a key when you was like being vocal about it because niggas will not talk to their females about their uh, financial situation, not try to build wealth or just an understanding of you know maybe we don't need to eat out this week or whatever. Yeah. Not like yeah, babe. Go ahead and get fucking um. What do you call it? This five star restaurant on Uber Eats with a twenty five dollar delivery fee. Right. Go do it. Right. I'm right. already made off. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like. And again, I. The most important part to me in all of this is, and I I know we have discussed many times on this podcast, just communication, being able, and, and you you really nailed it on the head. Act like you're, you can't act like you're sleeping with the <laughs> devil. You can't no. act like you're sleeping. No, with the person who's trying to get you. You feel me? Like that's 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 just gonna mess everything up. It's never. You're never going to be able to have something long lasting where you can't even trust Com- the person. Or trust them that, or trust them with the information. Trust them with telling them, "Hey, I'm down bad. I need. We need to do this because I can't <laughs> hold up." My end of the bargain. Yo, but here's the thing. Okay. Now, now, question. Do you think it's that some of these niggas are putting a facade of, of, of what they can do? Yes. Opposed to <laughs> where they're at in their reality. If yeah. that's the case, then shame on you, nigga. Well. I, right? You know, because your partner should know. But can we, but can we dissect that a little bit? Okay. You oh. work at Home Depot. And you come home and just surprise, bae, I got a yacht. Your bitch should know Home Depot money ain't getting that yacht. Right. So 
now on the she flip should side, be nervous. Now on the flip side, let's say you as the man and you're or whoever you you're in your relationship, and your partner is not buying him or herself the yacht. They bought you the yacht. Oh, D- does your opinion change on the matter? Are 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 we still so concerned about their finances, knowing damn well where the hell did they get yacht money? How fast can we return the yacht? <laughs> Right to Look. to where like we can because that's the thing too. You right, you right, you right. When it when it when it when it's uh, that's a good point. And when it's a lot of I guess uh, courting involved, right, right. And and especially in nowadays where you know you go online and you hear women yelling at the boyfriends because the boyfriend didn't pay for everybody oh. at the dinner. You you you're seeing women calling men broke because they can't take them to Carbone on a Friday night. Oh, you're, like you you see all these things and it's very listen. It's very easy to just be like oh it's social media screw social media yada yada yada. How do you feel about that though? About you going out? Let's say y'all at one of them. One of one I mean of I would them. never. Right. You don't even have to finish your question because I would never. So you gonna pay for the whole table? I I would I would never. That just doesn't. I just. I'm not talking and, and about again, you know, the whole drinks. It's, and the fucking it's not about ice water. affordability. It's not about any of those things. It's to me, it's almost just like, how could you ask me that? <laughs> ah! Right? Because well, no, but like we're talking about us and we're talking about marriages, we're talking about you and the part, and you want me to spend our money on all your friends so that you can look good? Because what do I need to look good in front of your friends for? I'm not fucking your friends. And then, okay, so boom. Let's say it's 12 friends. I had a situation, right? It's 12 friends. Oh, this is one of the engagements. You couldn't even, because you had an engagement, and one of our friends acted a fool at both engagements. Okay, I know exactly what so they were talking about. So we're not going to leave I know any what they were names, talking about. whatever. But, um, you know, his grand rhyme with Fitty P, and we're going <laughs> to leave it at that. Uh, and the nigga, so we got friends that are douchebags. Let's say it's 12 people, right? And my, and, my, and my lady, your lady, like, so, so, so we out. And she's like, oh, the, did the bill come, baby? You're like, oh, like, yeah, you know, I pay for everybody. And in my mind, I'm like, well, I know Fatima, fucking Greg. Greg don't really like his bitch. This nigga, he never pays. I don't like him. I don't know them. Why am I paying? I right, I could pay for six people no, because well, the no. other six, right? Because it's like it's so much other shit. But why? So we had a friend that came to this function and he said he was gonna use the bathroom. He don't order shots like it's the Met Gala. <laughs> That's what I said. I know he don't got Met Gala money. He like, yeah, shots for the shots. You don't even drink, nigga. He ordered a shot and added a chaser. And added, the shot. Yeah, that's the less. <laughs> you, yeah, you know what? We gonna chase the shot with a shot. And then I'm gonna need another shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. And, then, and then the shots coming, boom, boom, boom. He like he like a Greek god. He just throwing shit back, eating grapes. I ain't even know this fucking restaurant had grapes, King. Niggas eating grapes, pulling grapes out of God knows where. And they say he gotta go. He hit the. This is why I don't pay for niggas. Niggas, when niggas, when niggas hit, the, <laughs> hit the high me on your high leg, nigga. I'm like, oh shit. So then I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> why? Hold it. Bitch, it's a road trip. <laughs> it, looking, looking for play. No, but I but he wrong. No, I mean, this is how he exited. He's wrong. He's he he going to wrong. the bathroom. Next thing you know, it's one way to the bathroom. Five, 10 minutes go by. I forgot. We having a great time. My man like, yo, ain't that uh, such and such? I'm like, no, they in the bathroom. Like, no, the nigga playing hop starts in the middle of the traffic in the street. I'm like, what are you talking about? He like, look, he outside. He, nigga done ran. I don't know how you can't, he done must have hopped through the, the window, went through the vent just to get out of pain. <laughs> Change his number for two weeks, King. Yo, yo give us a Your prize. friend, your friend, that's your friend. He did, the, and, and when, so when ladies were like, you won't pay for my, yo, are we going to see this bitch? You was talking, you got you to gotta work chat about this bitch, Heather, that you don't fuck with. Word. And you want me to pay for nah. her calamari? I hate you. Nah, nah, not happening. So, again, with speaking about marriage and relationships, um, this weekend... Was I guess, I guess it was a big deal. 
It really taught me a lot. I didn't understand how big Taylor Swift was. And I didn't realize that anything she does is makes anything way bigger, even if that thing is the NFL. Compare it to who though? Who, how big? I still don't get it. I, I still don't get it. She, she, she has a bigger influence oh, than Drake does. Taylor Swift, no way. No way. So where I'm going with this is Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey apparently are dating or something like that. So let's give them some claps for love. I won't and, like it. I won't like things. it. Um, He's too good for her. But <laughs> uh, she was at the game and every broadcast on planet Earth made sure to mention that she yeah, was at that the was game. Weird. Uh, you're right. And you, that was weird. That's yeah, what I said. I was like, Taylor knew, Swift? You knew. You knew, though. I, you knew. Yeah. You knew. Because it, it wasn't talked about it before or anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You facts, knew. facts, 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 right? facts, facts, facts. So, well, now, with all that, um, obviously, there is backlash in the black community. Uh, if you don't know, Travis Kelsey's ex-girlfriend, a, a woman named... Now, I wanted to make sure to get her name down, so I said it correctly. Uh, her name is Kayla Nicole. Is that the black jaw? Yes. <clears throat> so Travis Kelsey dated a young. Uh, she is black, right? I, I wasn't even sure. She, I think I, I thought I was, she, she looks black. She right? looked black. I wasn't I thought sure. She, yeah. but, you know, you never know these days. Everybody darker knows. than him. I, mean, I thought knows, he was so, light like, skinned. Right. Right. So, she. so he was dating a black woman. Um, she had just forgot her name. Uh, Kayla, Kayla something. Nicole. Kayla, Kayla Nicole. And Nicole. Uh, Kayla Nicole. Okay. And um, obviously a lot of. Black Twitter came out and said that he fumbled and that, <laughs> you know, ah. he, he downgraded and <laughs> and went from Kayla to Taylor and had a bunch of clips and videos of, you know, Kayla walking and I guess on the runway compared to, you know, everyone tries to make fun of Taylor Swift. Once you get to a certain point, everyone tries to make fun of you. So I just, what, what I found interesting Right. And again, on social media, especially on Twitter, it, you know, automatically black and white relations is always, and you know, it, it is what it is, right? Automatic, yeah. Off the rip. But what I found interesting was the amount of people who actually were like, nah, he didn't downgrade at all. Who, what they and look like? They were all men. What type of men? They were all black men. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. So, so, Brothers is ruthless. So, I just, I guess I'm just curious, uh, you know, do we care? And if we care, do you think he, do you think he downgraded? And, and what is, what is a downgrade? Yes, that's a better, is that the, is that the question? God damn it! Is that the question? What is God a downgrade? damn it. Because, oh, man. What's look, a downgrade? I, I, I don't, I, a blind person in my, uh, in my opinion can see that. I, I would say Kayla was a better looking overall female than Taylor Swift. That's, which yeah. is fine. I don't think Taylor Swift's an ugly one person. I, I would, per, me personally, my preference would be Two Kayla. different type of quarterbacks. Two different types of quarterbacks. But, in a big butt. There is a major difference between Taylor Swift and just about anyone. What is that, King? I don't think I know. <laughs> the fact that it is Tell and me. it's almost like when people do the Kim K thing, where it's like, oh, why would he ever go for Kim? I don't know. She don't look like Taylor Swift. But maybe because she can help me upgrade everything in my life. Everything. Like and what, what's mind-boggling to me is this is a this is something that women do on the regular. Oh, oh, I, oh, I all the time. I personally know women who are with men that are 20, 30 years their their age. Yeah. Who just with our ugly not, not, whatever. Our looks are relative, but like yeah, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, like what you doing, baby girl? Right. What do you mean? Now, it should be quick to tell, my man drives a man back thirty thousand, and he owns a <laughs> <laughs> right. So, like, oh shit! I just said I didn't think he was a looker. So I, I just <laughs> the I, fuck. So like, what is just what is a downgrade? <laughs> like, what is do we not do we like? What is a downgrade? I want people to understand Oppenheimer. Ooh, I'm, I'm here. This is Oppenheimer's oh, shit. This okay, is, I'm listening. This is, this is, this is Einstein relativity. 
This is this is. Are you sure we in a war, mother? Yeah, yeah. Just talk that. Shit. Are you sure this is a war and argument, bitch? Because when I drop this bomb, it's no coming back. Hiroshima got me on my Robert Downey. Hiroshima, bitch. Because once you drop that shit, niggas don't understand, bro. Once so once he's on a certain level of, first off, a certain. I think. What would you say, real quick? Is it 10, 20, 50 million to where you get to a certain level of money that it no longer can buy you happiness? Your status, excuse me. Yeah, your your hundred millionaires and the billionaires. Yeah, but like I, I, I money. think once you I think once you get to like, if I would put an actual figure around it, I would say around like 25 to 50 M's. I was gonna say that around I would 50 say M's. around that point. Like sure, there's levels. Yeah, but at that point, you can just about do whatever. Because after want. after let's say like let's say fifty, everything else is super see, excessive. See, see from there, then I'm, it might be devil worship. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that, all the way up there. Thank that, you. It might get too weird. Now it's like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We might have gotten two for two one percent, but I don't know if I want to touch that. That's what I'm. But like, I, if I were to put like an actual number, I would say anywhere between twenty and fifty. That like you can now do. Pretty much what Anything you want, you want and life. then and then just like it's a certain level of inclusivity where like like not niggas is just, it's not a free fall no more. Like right. so your women, your party, and your vacation. So you're, you're just doing things that other people literally can't do. So for him, yeah, we I seen that fine Coco Angel, right? <laughs> I don't mean to have even had spoken like that. It was the tequila on the Tuesday, but. <laughs> Right, this chocolate, gorgeous bunny that he had, but when you get to a certain level, a certain status, most shit is business. You are fornicating, you are dating, sleeping, having, laughing, arguing with whatever. If you want it to be beautiful, it will be beautiful. Right. You were fifty, seventy five m's. Right. You got you in the league. Your your commercial. So now he's like. But that thought of now upping your status when you are the highest in your game and you trying to now enter a new game and somebody slide you a piece of paper, you pick Taylor Swift. Right. See, because like... <laughs> and, and, and again, right? This is... I, I didn't even you know laugh. she liked football. <laughs> you laugh because you said when I said black men. And like that to me is, is the funniest thing in the world. Because like I know for a fact a lot of black men would t- Taylor Swift and she ain't have a dollar. Okay. <laughs> I know yeah, we not doing it, Ned. I know for a fact. God damn it. So the fact that yeah, she got niggas is terrible. unlimited dollars. Oh, man. And, and look, I think what you said that was very important, <laughs> right? Like we're, we're talking about, we're talking about a multi-millionaire Travis Kelsey. Oh, Now shit. dealing with a multi, multi, multi-millionaire in Taylor Swift, right? Yeah, How, what is what is a downgrade at this point? I think it's relative. Right? That's why I said like, Oppenheimer. What is relative to your situation? What because are because you... it's not about looks anymore. I also think when no, you get to a certain point of money, it's not it, about looks. It don't anymore. matter because again, you can get you can literally go and probably date the maximum uh-huh. one hundred hottest woman on the planet. Like, what is looks anymore? Because it's a reason, like you said, to start it came why a woman who let's say is twenty five will date. Uh, regular looking fifty foot. She could be a gorgeous model, right? Like, damn, she's a bomb shot. Boom, like shit. Long live the queen, bitch. And she's dating like, oh, this nigga look like a butler, like Forrest Whitaker from the Butler, right? Right. And that's when she tell, well, he had fifty acres, blah 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 blah. blah, blah. <laughs> like, oh, okay, damn, I didn't know. Because because <laughs> women, women, and it's weird when men get slack for that. Because women, women have been doing it for the actually a smart one, or who was raised smart, or just got the game knows you marry up in whatever circumstance. What's relative to what you want. Because it's like, I love him. That nigga can't make an omelet and he can't read past the third grade level. Bitch, you are gorgeous. Run. Right. You can't put love on a phone bill. I ain't never seen that. Right. <laughs> it's so fucking class. Niggas, <laughs> <laughs> PSH, love. 
That nigga works for fucking Chalupa. Get the fuck out of here. Travis Kelsey, good Ooh. job to you. <laughs> uh, yo, since we're on football, um, but we're already three weeks. We're already on week four. Just like that. The first, we're about to hit the first quarter of the season. Just like that. Um, wow. So, what, what has been your biggest, or what has been the biggest disappointment for you so far this NFL season? It, injuries. It's so oh, weird. Man, and I'm very heartbroken point. because of the turf war that the running back started with to begin the season, like preseason, and then with what, the first week, what? Half of them are gone. Oh my God, the, the best ones. Oh my God, Chubb. It's almost like the owners put out hits, like, yo, you see that little pretty little knee? That nigga was talking shit. Right, Austin Eckler. Oh my God, it's like, what? And, 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 and it was, I seem like it was leaning towards that, okay, they're, you know, restructuring some money, giving niggas some um, franchise tag money, and then we'll revisit next year, nigga, just run up, just go out there and run, nigga. Saquon. Bro, I'm like, oh, they they might get rid of running back now, like, because of, I don't see the running backs removing that argument, but now me looking as a fan in my, in my, in my own fantasy leagues, um, I'll tell you what, if you, if you're in the fantasy football league, you are now realizing the value of receivers way more. I'm than packing the, this shit up I'm already. I'm ready to ship all my running backs out. If you packing this shit up, shout, shout out to Dwight Vocals. If you're in the fantasy football, he went the zero running back route, and really, he was able to get uh, Stephon Diggs, Jamar Chase, and Justin Jefferson on the same team in one of his leagues, and he's easily winning. And that should tell you a lot. Right, if you have a top receiver oh, nowadays, oh shit! Honestly, it, it just it just outweighs running. But, but I agree. Just the injury so far have been terrible. What um, about you, man? Oh, the biggest disappointment so far for me has just has to it has to be the Chicago Bears situation. The Jet situation was a close second for me, but it just happens to be that some Jet shit. <laughs> what, like, that's bias. It's just some because because we're because we're from the area. So we know it's, it's some jet, jet shit. shit. you wake up? What's today? Oh shit! It's jet shit day. Right? It's, oh, it's, it's gonna be shitty outside. You know what it is. You're it's accepted. gonna be shitty. But it's, it's oh. man to see what Justin Fields has now become. Granted, it's four weeks in and become of the or season, lack thereof, or just hasn't become. I don't know, but it's it's pathetic. It's pathetic. It's pathetic on so many levels just because, look, if you saw what he did at the end of last season, I'm good. If you saw what he did at the end of last season, you just had so much high hopes for him. I don't know. You, you expected better than this. This is God awful. Now, this is, yeah, this is worse when he this ended is, the... the if Zach Wilson didn't exist, we'd be ready to fucking crucify Justin Fields. We kind of are already. But like, he won or two. Thank God for Zach Wilson. Justin Fields uh, won, right? Uh, I don't remember. Maybe what, 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 one or two, three. right? I top, don't maybe three, because he was top three. So my thing is, in football, do you think it's the most uh, top three bust? Like it's one of those sports, no. like because I wait who? No, in general, fields? no, 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 not fields. I'm talking about just in general, like the sport, because we're just within the last. I don't oh, know when, just since our coming of age. Let's say the last. 10 or since let's say since 2010 I feel like just from that because we're 20 years old at that point so when when niggas just been like like number like I wouldn't say Baker's a bust but it's he's like bust. I mean he's bust for bust a J yeah, niggas be so high well, like he's a number one pick so like he's a oh bust because god of where he's he a number drafted. one pick Exactly. Um, Justin Fields, top three. Zach Wilson was two or two or three. He was two. How the fuck did that happen? I still watching him now, King. He's lucky that he obviously has more nuts than Justin Fields. Justin Fields could play football. Yes, he can. He's not a quarterback. And I'm tired of you niggas that out there that could I'm not even, but like, sure, he's not a quarterback, but who cares anymore? In the sense of like you got drafted number no, but one, I, two, but three, like, or so, he's whatever. So good at running that like like <laughs> don't, look, Jalen Hurts is a very good quarterback now. Two years ago, three years ago, he could not throw the football. He was terrible. He was a, an amazing runner, 
because you had to protect his run, he got wide open opportunities. And he, he capitalized. And that's the problem with Justin Fields. You you he, know what you know what you know can't. what I get? You know what I get? College football fucks you. It's a college. It fucks you. You know what's weird. You know what's weird. Because you're, you you're a college. You're a college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all want to hear your this take. This is what's weird about college, college football and the NFL compared to college basketball and NBA. Okay. Right. Both different, but college football and the NFL. You would think because of how game plans are now created, how the new breed of quarterback is right. They're much more, I guess, correlated than college basketball is to NBA. Yes. Because college basketball, you have so much hand checking. You still have the three second rule for defenses. There's just so many different things that are that like, the game the is game, a complete 180. The court is just almost, smaller like, almost compared to the yeah, NBA, right? Yeah, Where yeah, how the yeah, NBA yeah. plays. And yet the style of play. It's because almost it's like still smaller people. It's, it's a small, like you said, smaller court of play. So the style of play is completely different. And, but it's almost like Almost. I can I can uh, almost say, like, for 100% certainty, I can um, scout a college basketball player to a closer right answer than a college football scout yeah. fan to a closer right answer to an NFL Yeah, player. the pool. And, but it just doesn't make sense to me. You know because, why? like, these offenses aren't that different. Like, sure, there are, like, really out the blue ones where you're just only in shotgun and, like, like all that shit, I get all of it. Like, I get all that. But it's like, holy shit. <laughs> like, God, This nigga had us fooled. Damn, this nigga was out <laughs> here putting up Brady and Peyton Manning numbers and then gets to the NFL and he doesn't even look oh like my fucking, fucking God. Chad Pennington. Like, he don't even look like he's oh, son. Son, no. And, I've... and I get it. Listen, I understand how hard the quarterback position is. I, I get it. I, I have to spit out those plays and I, I get everything that comes with it. But holy shit, there are like fourth and fifth round. Brock Purdy was the last quarterback picked. No, last player. Sorry, the last, last player, player picked. Last player. And he player. is now a, a above average quarterback. And the thing is, but here's, me and you are niggas that can read. So once they set slaves free and gave them some leeway, our ancestors picked up on that shit and handed it down. <laughs> and thus, we're here. We can read. I know that that nigga played the most games. He got the most records. He's seen the most schemes. Dealt with different style of, of receivers, offensive lines, just because of his tenure. That tells me... This white nigga got something. Fair. He's fucking brewing. Something's cooking. He done seen a lot. Let's give him a shot. Justin Fields looked like Hussein Bolt. Right. I know Hussein Bolt fast than a nigga going to the north. I don't <laughs> know if he can throw a football slant. So, I don't know why I would put that money on Justin Fields. Fields, you went to what Ohio State? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So when you when you looking at these niggas at these schools in these programs, it's different when you looking at Cam Newton. Even still, when he was at Florida, he sat behind Tebow and then did his due diligence. Went to Auburn. Like it's like, okay, he went around the system, still played, but he wasn't the best with the best team. But he's okay. He got something. What I'm saying is, when you got um, who was just the, like even uh, uh, who, who just came out? It's like that. That these two of. You at Alabama. So we did the Jalen Hurts. Tua was at Alabama. Alabama ain't never been known for their quarterbacks. He replaced Jalen Hurts in one of the biggest games. The I don't game. think Tua's super more talented, but he gets it. I got this nigga that can do this. I got him that could do that. I'm mobile. You don't need me to be Peyton Manning. You need me to get the ball to the niggas that's getting free tickets. Right. Jalen Hurts just didn't get that, but it seemed like he gets the X's and O's more. But with the talent, now once once he realized, oh, I got the talent, I don't have to really, really, because I think his, I really think that his light might be a little dimmer than Tua's. Just off Tua plays with nuts. You can't coach nuts. You could drag him. <laughs> you can't coach him because what? Uh, like, why his why his uh, light hot? They just them boys just put I up think, seventy. I know. I don't think Hurts and his think team Mike better. Mike Dennis, the Dolphins. coaching helps a lot too. And even with my whole conversation here, coaching does help a lot. Mike Daniels happens to be an elite coach. 
Um, and whoever the coach is, one of my Chicago coordinators is an, an elite. It's just not an elite coach. But that whose just, team is better though? Like I think two would still do numbers with Philly. That's what I'm saying. Just to stop because like good quarterback, different style. Because I don't think I don't think well, even two is a good quarterback, right? No, but I think I think we've. I think it's safe to now say when healthy, two is a. I think two is a top fifteen, top twelve quarterback. Yeah, let's maybe we can might push top I'm ten. I'm cool, top ten. I might, right, I might, right. I, when healthy, two is at least I think no conversation real or no controversy here. So he's a top this. twelve. He's the three most relative, I guess. Now, Alabama most recent quarterbacks. It would hurt to a Mac Jones. Yep, they all won. Yep, who's the most successful? Jalen Hurts. No, and when the career said, because Jalen Hurts, do you think uh, so? Uh, most successful Jalen Hurts. I think Jalen. I think the Eagles have a better team, better numbers, probably to a because what Mike what Mike Daniels got going on over there is just those niggas it up. It's, 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 it's literally get the nigga that runs a four to the ball. That's it, and that's it. Keep that shit mac and cheese, son. Everybody runs a four two on that team. Oh you can't, my! You literally can't God. be a skilled player on that team and not run a four two. J- Jalen Waddle might be the slowest nigga there. <laughs> he runs a four three. It's like, I said, I thought it was like a four four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He that's runs a crazy. Four, three. He might be the slowest. That's one there. the crazy part. So, like, that's what I'm saying. Because, like, like I really agree with that. Like, like the college shit is so hard. Is it, but like, yo, it is it coaching in college or like the fucking talent? It might disparity? just be coaching too. I don't know. I don't, I, it could be both. I'm not 100% sure, but there's just way too many <clears throat> top pick quarterbacks that stink. What about this USC nigga? I don't know too much about him. He might be elite. How good is USC? Like, when did they get good again? What the well, fuck? Well, they got their coach. The coach used to be the old coach of Oklahoma last year, and he was putting up 70 a game. So he just brought that shit over to uh, USC. What is it? That's the thing. You can't do that in... in, in but see, ah, that's You can't do that in the well, NCAA I mean, for uh, basketball, like D1. Like, I, yeah, see, that's again... You that's, can't just bring... Like, I got a system, niggas. Right, I, I, Where's Allen Iverson, bitch? I, the shit, the <laughs> shit, he go to work. <laughs> I don't know, man. But listen, man. Shout out to the NFL season. It's been, it's been great so far. It's it's been great. I, I can't wait to, to keep shit going. Um, before we go, um, you know we gotta get a little a, a little politics in. Um, a lot of shit's been going on. The government's about to shut down uh, because we can't get a fucking agreement in place. Um, Bob Mendez, the senator from New Jersey is uh, oh, now man. indicted on bribery charges. Um, <laughs> with He's everything talking. that's going on, right? Is it now officially time that we get like a third party we can vote for? Like a legit, like, somebody that can actually compete. Mm-mm. Switch the game up. New niggas got box. <laughs> You make them box. <laughs> yeah, y'all tough, right? I bet. I bet you. I you. I bet you Trump beat up Biden. Yeah, but you know, because you want to know what's sick though. <laughs> like you want to know what's real sick, bro. Like even with the shutdown, right? <laughs> the government's gonna shut down. Soldiers aren't gonna get paid. They're gonna be uh uh anything they, they government food, job, right? All, government government employees won't get paid. People who need food stamps won't get mm-hmm. their food stamps. All these things. With the assistance yet. All the senators will get paid. Yeah. All the House representatives. The judges. Paid. All the people who are supposed to keep the shit running that are not about to shut it down Mm-mm, they get paid. are getting paid. So it's like, so what the fuck are we doing the, nigg- the niggas, I think even the niggas that do, that print the money and shit don't get paid, but the niggas who decide get paid, get paid. But everybody else don't get paid. You make the money. I don't like, even know is, if you get paid no more, bro. Like, this is this is what's crazy to me. And I guarantee you, if those guys didn't get paid too when the government shuts down, uh, the government would never shut down ever again. Never. Never ever again. The fuck is a PTO? <laughs> right? Like, I just... That's why, like, I... I, We just need something else. 
Whether it's a third guy who comes in there and just shakes shit up. What's the because, reasoning like, for what's this the, one, King? Well, like, what about the middle people? You feel me? Now, and I know people call them independent. But, like, what about the people? You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, people. yo, like, I'm cool with gay people. I, let's let's get pride flags going. But also, maybe we shouldn't tell my six-year-old he he's a transgender. I don't think that's crazy. Uh, yeah, but, I just think maybe, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, they think, don't we want, should, they don't I, I think we should tolerate everybody. <laughs> but maybe we shouldn't be teaching certain we shouldn't be showing dicks and titties to fucking a four-year-old i don't know maybe that's fucking weird like what what so, about the people who still so got these disagreements sense? is what's it's what's it's what's canceling everything it's what's it's what's fucking holding shit off like yo i mean so if if you depends on what you, obviously depends on where you get your news but republicans in the house they want to do more when it comes to cutting uh, uh cutting spending it is true the U.S. Okay. debt is absolutely insane. I think that our debt to GDP, which is basically how much we owe versus how much we generate, I think our debt is like five times more than how much we oh, actually we owe it to. Oh, we owe everybody. So like, just so like, like the world. So like, just as like a, the understanding, right? On a like one of the many ways that we borrow money is we offer treasuries, right? Those treasuries can be bought by anybody. So different countries, China. Fucking Germany, UK, whatever. Okay. Buy US treasuries. That's debt. They're buying our debt. We owe them. Those are the people we pay. Ah, they're picking up our uh, like, like right? a debt collector. They're being that, debt collector. They're and that's debt, one debt of the many ways that debt is issued, but that's that's just one example. So, yes, we're, we definitely have a wild fucking debt situation. Range of, of debt collection that needs to be cleared up. But they're basically saying, until we make big steps, which is cutting all poor, <laughs> cutting all poor programs, programs that are made for people who don't have money. They want to cut all those programs in order to fix that debt, which is ridiculous. Well, I think giving the Ukraine all this fucking money. Now that's another that's, issue. So why are they allowing us to continue issue. to print? Who? Who's hiding the money machine? Where, where is it? Why say it's hiding? It's like you know, you, right you know, you face. got you got you a little fuck mag, you got a titty mag back in the day, and your mom coming through supposed to be doing your homework. Like, you, 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 oh shit, mom! You throw this shit under the, I feel like niggas is doing that with the money machine. Mitt Romney is printing this <laughs> shit out his fucking mind somewhere in Mexico, and jokes on us. Oh, where the fuck? Where the fuck is the money? Like, we're, oh, we're in debt. Ukraine, here's the thing where I'm fucked up. But Ukraine got balls enough to be like, we need, I don't even know if it's Ukrainian so, We need 25 more than a billion. So let me ask you a question. I'm happy you brought up Ukraine. Because honestly, Ukraine is the first thing that everybody brings up nowadays. And this, honestly, this is the same reaction back when we are in the Iraq war and the Iran war. People were like, why are we spending money on that? And people, we can't build bro bridge, bro excuse me, roads and bridges. People were doing that when we're in fucking the uh, Cold War. Why are we sending money over to U European countries to fight wars? And we people, spend money this on has been, all this has been the bullshit. A, so I, I want to play devil's advocate. Okay. Right. What if we didn't spend the money? What if? Not what if. On you on when, Ukraine. Yeah. Okay. Let's say we didn't spend the money on Ukraine. Oh, excuse me. When Russia takes over Ukraine. Because the only reason Russia has not taken over Ukraine is because of us. So for real, hundred percent. Ukraine is. Uh, imagine. Okay, I'll give you a good example. Imagine Union County versus California. The whole state. The whole state. That's okay. or okay. imagine okay. Union okay. County right. versus You're Texas. Right. The whole state of Texas. How long do you think Union County got to live? We 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 out of twelve hours. We done by the time niggas get done with the ass. By the time niggas shit out their lunch, the whole shit's gone. Damn, that, that's that's the real situation in Russia and Ukraine. If it if it's not for you, the U.S. money, okay, and yeah, you sure you can throw Europe Europe in there, but we know Europe really don't spend their bread. We we let's keep it a bean. Who? Europe, Europe don't really spend their bread. No, well, let's keep it a bean. They hold that shit till it get fucked up, and let's, then then they press the fucked up, but the panic button. So, so but let's say we don't spend the money. Let's say Russia takes Ukraine. What then? 
Like, do, can you as a reasonable now, person... Now, as a nigga... Now, now, as your nosy-ass uncle, you know, nigga just... Y'all arguing... You, 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 and, you and your cousin arguing in the room. You know your uncle got no business listening to the shit. You are... Yo, you, you shouldn't fuck with that, but you argue with you. And then your uncle's... Well, nigga, fuck you, kid. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, he... Because it's, it's like, oh, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. But yeah, like... Why I care if this little-ass country... Get taken over. Good question. Now, because good question. Because it's like, hear my thing. We spend our money on three things in this country. We spend it on war. Yes, we do. We spend it on Tupac. <laughs> Everybody, hey, yeah, it's a new who killed Tupac. Everybody know he in fucking Cuba. Cut the shit. And we spend it on Big Farm. Anything else you niggas is lying about. <laughs> now it's that little fucking Mexican alien. I done seen that nigga at the liquor store fucking three years ago. That, that nigga ain't a thousand years old. <laughs> oh, that little Mexican alien shit? Nah, that's <laughs> Felipe. <laughs> they used to cook them pies in the back of fucking... Nobody know that. But no, keep it a bed. So now you mean to tell me we worry about little old Ukraine. I was cool with Tupac. I was cool. A year... Who, who killed Tupac? Who killed Tupac? It's more money in Tupac than it is in fucking NASA. And now you mean to tell me you niggas got twenty five billion for for Ukraine again? So so let me ask you a question. So when Russia takes over Ukraine, right? You do know because of our packs and everything that we have, especially the NATO pack. If Russia then goes into Poland or another n- neighboring NATO country. Then it is war. It's World War Three. So, so do you think he would not, or do, you, or oh, and not, not even say him. Let's let's just take Russia because China, China's let's, wild and too though. Let's take Russia out of it. Okay. Let's, let's say you, Julius. Okay. Let's say you, Julius, are hungry as shit. Okay. Let's say you see a five year old who got a lobster mac and cheese, uh, some gravy, uh, uh, oh, he a got the strip fixes. on the side, and and an iced tea. Okay, he by himself. He is by himself. There is no dots around. Okay. 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 Now, right next to him is a kid a little bit older, maybe 10. Yeah. Okay. But he got a whole lobster tail with two pounds of crab legs on top, oh. on top of his lobster mac. Okay, he's just a little and the bigger. He's just fixings. a little bit older. And I'm Russia. And and you, and I'm, you, you, I'm, you big, I'm Jew. big Jew. You big Jew. And okay. But and I you, be Russia in this. Now, now, what you gonna do with that five year old? With the five year old? Yup. I you starving. You this is what Russia you, fucked up. You ain't eating big, two months. I ain't eating. Oh, oh, so I'm not big Jew. I wanna get back to big Jew. If you Russia right. wanna you, get you, back to big starving. Russia, if they wanna get back to Mother Russia, what you should do is you, you should pick that fucking five year old up, beat the shit out the 10 year old. <laughs> Jokes on both you niggas. Cause the big homie gonna be nowhere around. Cause he gotta call Trinitas <laughs> to make sure neither one of you is concussed and or manslaughtered. Now the big Jew, make sure he grab what he can before Big Eastwick PD come. Right. And violate. Right. So now what I'm saying is what is Russia doing to the five-year-old and who the 10-year-old? Ukraine the five-year-old. So who the 10-year-old? Europe. Damn. So we really don't want to... We don't... So, and again, right? I'm not even advocating that we keep sending this money. That's not even my point. I just... I think it's very, very easy just to say we shouldn't. Sure, sure. We, so sure. they pressing our hand. Russia's it, it, like, what y'all going to do? It, what y'all going to do? My, my question to everybody is, just think about it logically. If you was the big homie, damn, they, these little homies got some shit that you need. The other big homie over there trying to convince the little nigga that that's now his day block. Nah, okay. it's your block, little nigga. I'm going to beat you. Yeah, what? Now I got beef now the little got, homie. Now, you got now the other big homie got beef. Right. So my point is, it's just not so easy. I mean, I just, think because because and then my other argument is, let's say we don't send the money over there. You y'all, y'all think the money coming to us or or, or not even us? Why is niggas y'all leaving think, us out to dry not, now? What is happening? Us. Let's not say us. Y'all think the money going to the people who need it. Forget us. 
No. Whoever, whoever that is, white, black, purple, or green, is the money going to the people who need it? Those black live baddest bitches, they, I heard their career was better than D-Way's. Oh, Nobody mean, talk you, about you that. You mean the greatest scammers on planet Earth? Look at some clowns going <laughs> I ain't on. mad at them. Let's get some I ain't going. mad at them. Somebody got to eat. But that's the thing. That, so, King, my thing is, I do think it's avoidable when we talking about a nuclear war. It's like, it's like Putin. You can't we're take an L. You got to blow up we're everything. Not, we're not going to nuclear war. I don't we're know. Not, the Simpsons not, talked not, about it. We're not going to nuclear war. You, you don't we're think... There's just too much money out there. There's just too many. There's just too much. It's just this. This isn't 19 fucking 40. There's just too. Everyone's too interconnected. It just don't make sense money wise. Everybody wants to talk about money ruled the world and then forget money ruled the world. <laughs> like, I don't know, everybody gonna tell me money run everything and then the minute y'all want to talk about this because no one's blowing up shit. Yo, I took a shit. You know how much I, I took a rushing? shit ton Come of on, mushrooms son. this summer and watched Oppenheimer Come about on, as many son. episodes as Seinfeld is. And you see what's up? Well, you saw the movie. That you shit saw scared what's up the shit out of me when they when that you nigga. You saw and we talk about the nineteen forties. We talk about when niggas ain't have nothing. They. All they we got is nukes Depre- now. We talk about Great Depression. There was no money out there. Six people had bread. <laughs> <laughs> the Rockefeller. I'm not, I'm not even lying. The Rockefellers. The uh, there the was like fuck, four it was who like had four, bread. It was like the Rock. The, the, actually, the niggas still got bread. Now the it was, fucking it was um, on forest, the rest the of the world. The builder burst. Come All the niggas is interconnected anyway. No, but, so but my, now niggas. So, you think China gonna tell Russia go ahead and blow shit up with trying to make this bread? But that's what I say. China interconnected with um. With Russia, you right? Think the Saudis want fucking Russia to blow out. You know how much money the Saudis making with this oil? Why shit? they don't never talk that nuke because shit? Because the Saudis is low. They run the Russia. Come on, Russia. Now, yeah, we're going to be Russia. FBI they said they said episode. nuclear war. No, I think the FBI is yeah. going to be You know, they all looked at the shack. But Russia, Russia, nuclear war. Let me show you. Let me show you, brother. Let me show you, brother. No, no more. No yeah, man. Them niggas is cool as shit. They Yo, be they be chilling. All I'm saying is let's just that let's A-Rab just money. let's just literally let's just really sit here and think about it every once in a while. That's all. That's all my point. That's, it's, it's hard. Um, it's hard to think with Zach Wilson running the. <laughs> The fuck, nigga? <laughs> hey, man, so we Shit. have gotten to my favorite part of the show. Let's do it, King. Who has to go? I have some good ones this week. So, hey, we, hey, good. I'm Big nervous. Jew, I have a good question for you. Who has to go? Let's go. Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, or Donald J. Trump? Who has to go? Shit. See, I ain't mentioned George Bush. That was the easy one. <laughs> yeah, nah, he, but this one, this one about the shit with Taylor Swift just I think Travis Kelsey. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to compute this. Uh, <laughs> damn, yo, niggas is crazy. I'm about to fuck the game up. You know why? You know why? <sighs> shit, niggas are gonna be mad at me. I'm sweating. <laughs> Rock. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, busy? Yeah, you know why? You know why? You niggas got lazy. Remember, my, my president is black. Yeah. <laughs> you niggas got lazy to turn me to a house nigga. Almost. All, because niggas was on their shit because Bill Clinton was the closest. He's like, he's he the black president. We get a real black president? You niggas forgot you really did sports. <laughs> Y'all won't be G. It's the games is fucked up now. We got to get back to the, the game when I the just, shit uh... niggas used to do is fucked up. And the reason why I say this, did this, did this. They tried to get, because look, we got Barack in. Ever since then, nobody want to do shit for niggas. We was, we was. I mean, in fairness, ever since then, it's been Donald Trump it's, and then Joe Biden. And and we, we at, and we talking about we hope it ain't a nuclear war. Bill Clinton got in trouble for getting his dick sucked, so he was the <laughs> coolest. Trump thugging. I rest my case. I I I. I, I'm sorry, I have to disagree. Okay. I have to be admitted. We're here for that, though. Um, We're here for that. My answer was actually Clinton. Why? 
Nah. I actually think Clinton really fucked up the black community. Really? Yeah. So I know if if you were raised in the nineties or born, um, yeah, raised in the nineties or know anything about the nineties, Bill Clinton uh, received a lot of praise from both sides of the aisle, the uh, Democrats and Republicans, for what he did for the middle class and definitely helped raise wages and things like that. But um, he also was one of the first men to really increase, or excuse me, one of the not first presidents, but a president who definitely increased police presence in lower city neighborhoods. Um, he was a big proponent of the stop and frisk in NYC. Uh, during Clinton, that time. right? Yes, he was. Yeah, lock you uh, niggas up. I'm nervous. I, I, I'm I, nervous. And and this, nervous. this is where my bias. He comes in as a Haitian person. I am completely against the Clintons uh, for what they did for, to, to Haiti. Haiti. They especially wrong. Especially during the hurricane. Uh, excuse me. Especially during the earthquake. Um, now, personally, I think Obama is the best president we've had of our lifetime. I think, given the state of the country. Um, after George Bush left and where we were, which is basically on the precipice of a depression, uh, we were in, I forgot what's right before depression. Um, I can't can't think of the name right now, but we were in dire times. And not only did he get us out of there, he handed the country off to Donald Trump when we, everybody was making money. Uh, Let me ask you a question real quick, Kane, because those are all great points. And I like to sum it up because I just really learned how to read so make it simple. Who's the best point guard all time statistically? I still think Obizu would be up there. No, point guard. Oh, like point real, like guard. Actual NBA. Statistically, oh. who's the best point guard all time? Just all time. Who you think? Statistically? Statistically? Like, like, here's what point guard is. You read that. John da-da-da. Stockton. John Stockton. Probably. You want that white nigga on your team right now? No, he could cook. Exactly. I think OBZ is wonderful. You think he could cook? Get him the fuck out of here. I want Clinton in that shit. Steve. What you talk about? Donald Trump thugging? Stock there? I know. Yeah, but boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Steph Curry light skinned ass is shooting your head back to kingdom come. I don't got nothing for you. So I feel you, but that's what we doing. But there's no free game. <laughs> we drop free game. All right, man. So for the next one, I'll answer this one. Who has to go? Zach Wilson? Johnny Manziel? <laughs> or Demarcus Russell? Excuse me, Jamarcus Russell. Jamarcus. Oh, Who shit. has to go? You got to go still, though. You still... Damn, you got to go. Damn, sir. I just want to make a comment. No, no. Fuck no. Comment? You got to. Can I just make a comment? I'm, I'm going to answer it. Do you remember how bad Jamarcus Russell was, son? Do you remember watching the Oakland Raiders and Jamarcus Russell? Is that man he just didn't look. throwing it to nobody all the time? The shit, the shit was in his... He had an arm, but the shit was, went, was in the stands. <laughs> Nah, but Zach Wilson got to go. Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson. Damn. Zach Wilson might be the worst quarter, professional quarterback I've ever seen play the game. It's oh, it's uh, yeah. Only, <laughs> he sucks. So it's only because niggas like Jamarcus get the fuck out of here. Like if you're the Jets right now, and those are your three options, I would still take my chance at Jamarcus. I would. I would. Johnny, I would. I would. I would. I would. Zach I would. I and I don't know for the life of me. Well, I know it's money because they because they front office got the nigga and they, they can't fire everybody they got in. But it's like, if are y'all that ballsy to think that he will make a complete one eighty? I I don't even think they were expecting a one eighty. They were more expecting like a ninety, like a not maybe even a sixty-five. Son, he's so bad. <laughs> he's so bad. Is the game that much different? So we talked about it. In the NBA, it is because it's straight to the point and we get it. But it's also too. It's a narrative of five. And then you understand that two might be out here to kick your ass and one is just otherworldly. That's really what it is. The third is like, oh, shit, he all right. But then out of the five, so it's different when it's five on five and then two are just here to kick your ass and one nobody can do. And night in, night out, you got to deal with that. Football, this nigga do that. Just everybody got a job. Yeah, Zach Wilson cannot do his job. He can't do his job. So for me, it's simple. Get him the fuck out. But like, do you think it's still a chance that he can change? No. Like, mature? We don't, we don't have to discuss this, no. Uh, so <laughs> the last one. Damn. Let's get some claps. Let's get some claps. Uh, this is our very last one. Who has to go? 
Travis Kelsey. Taylor Swift. Or his brother, or Travis's brother, Jason Kelsey. And who has to go? Who has to go? Jason, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't think we need anything else. Well, she's got to go. Easy. All right, man. To wrap today, y'all, what a wonderful episode. Oh, you agree? Yeah, no. We're oh, gonna, shit. We're gonna, to wrap this day up, um, man, again, with football season going, first four weeks in, who is your Super Bowl favorites as of today? Two teams, one from the NFC, one from the AFC. Can I go first? Because your answer is going to be biased. Um, I'm going to say from the AFC side, honestly, man, and if he's healthy, I think the Dolphins. 100% more than the, the table Dolphins in the AFC. the Dolphins are the best team in the AFC if two is healthy. Um, I like their defense, too. Very underrated, but they get timely stops. They get timely stops, and they are an aggressive defense. I don't think they uh, they're aggressive because they they score so fast. This shit. Well, is, that's so that's my oh if, if, god with, with that type so of offense. Bad. If they can, it's just the Rams of the, the early two thousands. Three or four niggas, stops. They fucking greatest showing grass, but um. So I'm gonna say the Miami Dolphins. AFC. And that's the choice. That's my AFC choice, and my NFC. You're gonna hate me. I say the Eagles. Get the fuck I out of here. I trust I think, Jalen Hurts more than I trust no, Brock, Brock Purdy. No, you, no, you don't. Really? Jalen Hurts Give me a reason why Brock I need Purdy. just one. I just need one. Because I can't see it. I because, really can't. Because I know Jalen Hurts can run. And I, I, I know if even if he's having a slight off day, that he can still be... He can still be effective. You know what you just said? I know vampires are dead. I don't. I don't what the know. Fuck? I don't what? know. What? I think if Brock Purdy doesn't have a good throw, like I think if he's not having a good throwing day, he's in trouble. Like big trouble. Like, and I mean, and I, and I, like Jalen Hurts doesn't command the offense. That's why I don't trust nah, him. Nah, I guess he do. You think so? I. I mean, I think. I think. I think Shanahan's a better offensive coordinator than what the Eagles are okay, going on. Okay, Fine. okay. But if you give if you gave Jalen Hurts Kyle Shanahan, he fucks it up. I, I, I believe Pat that. Holmes. I believe that. You had to cater to Jalen Hurts. I really do. He's not oh, taking yeah. nothing away from him, but like oh, he yeah, put. Yeah. I'm not taking niggas like I worked in. The, <laughs> I don't give a fuck, son. Yeah, I feel you. You don't. You, but you don't have that. No. No, but like put the, I believe he put no. the work in and did all that fly shit. But either way, though, I, I'm a believer of adjusting to the quarterback and not the other way around. I, yeah. I think I think this again. This Mm-mm. is two, a real no, quarterback. This is 2023. This isn't 1950. Who adjusted to Brady? No, no, no. We adjusted to Brady. No, no, no. We got Brock. You Brady. got it wrong. We adjusted. We to got Brady. Brock Brady. You you guys aren't adjusting to Brock. Okay. We adjusted to Brady. Who, who we just let go with Trey Lance? I mean, he a backup right now. Well, who are offensive linemen? No, but see, but can we talk about, but can we, yeah, can we talk about Trey Lance? Can we talk about the, the guy can that you we? guys traded your first round, your next three first rounders to get just to trade him for a fifth? Oh, Justin Fields, I mean, Trey Lance. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Who are your fucking Super Bowl favorites? I got the Dolphins <laughs> and the Eagles. Who you got? Yeah, yeah. You know, 49ers. 49ers. You know. Yeah, 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 area. Yeah, yeah, area. And then I got the Dolphins. Why? Oh, 49ers. Yeah, yeah. Because who they who they offensive coordinator? I mean, I, who, who they head coach was the offensive coordinator? Shit was Mike Daniels. Oh, yeah, yeah, area. <laughs> it sounds like I'm in the bay both ways, like I'm swinging gay. Yeah, yeah, area. Shit. This is a fucking cloud. But no, it's a it's a great season. <laughs> I hope um I actually hope the Pats turn it around. Um, I'm a I'm a Belichick fan though. I love I love Tom Brady, but I'm a Belichick fan because I I I, I think I think he now has to get it. Brady won and shit. He never been to, you know what I mean. So I want to see. I, excuse me. I want to see Belichick do his numbers. And they be like, oh, he cheated and shit. Well, if you're not cheating, you're not sweating. If you're not sweating, you ain't did much. So shout out to the Patriots. I hope they you know. Hey man, fuck the Patriots. I will say this. God past, damn, this you feel like that? Weekend, I'm fucking tired of them. I'm tired. This past weekend, I went to MetLife Stadium. I saw the Peach and Jets 
uh, excuse me, I saw the Pats and Jets game in person. I actually was in a box right next to Woody Johnson, who is the owner of the Jets. Get the fuck out of Woody here. Woody Johnson, and I shit you not, Woody Johnson was in his suite with a diamond necklace on that said, Woody, that shit glistened from the, that, it was, it was a rapper chain. It was a rapper train that said, Woody. What? That's just the most, I, of my mother. He not young. I sat right next to his box. I seen it, and that man was disgusted. I don't know what the Jets do. No, he wasn't. That man, <laughs> I, I saw him the last drive of that Pats game. That man turned around, walked out of there, disgusted. I seen it. You heard it here first. I saw it with my two eyes, me and Woody Johnson, and his whole family linked eyes. Looked at that nigga, he this looked at me. Talk about. We both looked at each you other. You niggas know Woody Johnson, it. Republican. This is the right shit we now, working for. He's tired of it. Don't be surprised that the Jets get a new quarterback. That is the end of our fucking you episode. You think so? No free game. No free game.